Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. And Connor? Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. Fade to transition of being told all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I need your help against the Blight. That will do. I understand. Regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. But you can unite nobility against Loghain, can't you? I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. But once everyone learns what he's done... I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. Are you saying Alistair is related to Caelan? You don't know? I uh, meant to tell you when we were approaching Redcliffe, but... Um... Alistair is King Merrick's illegitimate son. He is Caelan's half-brother and has a claim to Ferelden's throne. That explains a lot. How for two does he survive at Ostagar? No, that seems kind of douchey to say. What? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? I never thought it would come to this. When Caelan got married, everyone thought it was best to just have me step aside. It was a relief, actually. I don't want to be king. I never did. Even when Caelan died, I, I guess I hoped that something else would present itself. You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. 
There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. What are my options? You have already found allies, but we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the Landsmeet is our best option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain, but even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude, that everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him, so that he leads us against the Horde. Do you think this lands me an idea will work? That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the lands meet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king? Who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. What about the Darkspawn? Ferelden must stand united to defeat the Darkspawn. A fractured nation will not defeat the Blight, even given my army and those gathered with your treaties. Seems you have a little choice. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I've done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He seems earnest in his desire to repent. Oh? That is... unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is... strained. Give him to the Serpo and Magi. True enough, and wisely said. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. Indubitably. I got plenty of strength at this point. What? Only one point? Shenanigans. Uh, put it in decks. Some good stuff. Uh, damn. Let's do War Cry. That'd be good to have a knockdown. Especially if I'm fighting a lot of different enemies at once. You can be an assassino. Uh, constitution up. I need your strength to be up. Screw we'll do dexterity. And poison making. Why not? No, you're never gonna use it. Yeah, see, I need your dexterity way up for a lot of this other stuff. Mark of death. I need you to get up another level so I can finally give you full Kalen armor. 
Damn it. All right, now I need to go upstairs. To the second floor. To go whatever else I may have missed. It's gotta be something. Then it's almost time for talkie talkie time, so I know how much you guys want. Ooh, no. I think it's time to fight Plymouth. I think maybe I can handle it this time. I'm hoping. Or I might just get my ass handed to me. We'll see. That poor little boy. What we'll do is we'll stock up on healing items this time around. Get things kind of set up, and we'll go from there. I definitely think it is time to confront Plymouth. Journal of the Tranquil. Allow me. I could do that for you. It's done. Now I got a key for something fancy. It's bound to be around here somewhere. The vaults. That was it. Lots of goodies to sell. Look yeah, that's Connor's room. Let's get to Connor for coming up. Aveline. For people who haven't gotten dra uh, played Dragon Age 2, you'll see why I mentioned that in particular. You. You're the one who saved me. Actually, it was Win. Then, I guess I owe her thanks. Father always said to remember to thank people who do nice things for you. A lot of people have died. I'm glad mother and father are still here, though. I'd be very sad if they weren't. And in a worst case scenario, they actually both could die. Unfortunately. Alright, so we're going to head to Denrim first. Stock up what we can on health potions. Also, probably complete some of the other little missions I've been doing on the boards that I think have been completed at this point. And from there, after getting potions, fight Plymouth. Said that for the second time, but I don't know what else to say. Make sure it's still recording. I feel like I'm going around circles. At least Redcliffe's taken care of. The Circle of Magi is taken care of. We gotta find the Dalish. Gotta help out the dwarves in Orzammar. Cause they got a nice little civil war going on. Got a, lot, a nice little conflict we need to help resolve. I'm getting there. We shall venture forth. Make a nice little chip to the dinner room. Or not. Somebody wants to say hello. You stop eating. <laughs> Rush them to spring your own ambush for a change. 
Or, actually, you know what? No, I get much more experience if I actually fight them. Let's do this! Oh, great. I wonder if I Go over to the left, I probably would have missed out on a lot of experience. I'd rather not. Kill the bandits! Get him! Besides, by killing these bandits, they will be able to go ahead and take advantage of anybody else. So I would have left, that so would have left, unfortunately, anybody else from their prey. Traps. Oh great. I wanted to stop them. Or not. More bandits. As you desire. Now this should be amusing. And so I shall. Damn it, don't go any further. Going through this area. Traps, traps, traps. Trap right ahead. Good. Right away. Traps. Well, that seems to be all of them. Good. Just like you wanted. And for once, things pretty much went the way we wanted it to. Then we got the upper hand on their dumb asses. Instead of usually getting ambushed by these bumbling idiots. Which is sad, because if I'm getting ambushed by bumbling idiots, what does that really say about me and my party? <laughs> You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Seeing as we're in Denerim now, I'm wondering if we might be able to look someone up. You have a friend outside the Grey Wardens? I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. 
Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me, either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But, after I became a Great Warden, I did some checking, and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. Have you contacted her? No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. If you want to, we could try. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. And we just so happen to be in the area. Funny how things work out. As there is but one. Those stung with a hundred arrows, those suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong and he moved on. Go, quest completed. Good to see you again. Leave me to my well, business. Fine. I'll leave you to your business. Dwarven. Welcome back. Is there something else you'd like to... Every... Yes, I know. Best ever made. Hmm. Nope, not as good as my shield. Even shield's not even as good as my shield. You have nothing of interest to me then. Except for a backpack. Hey, backpack. And I'll take a Grandmaster Silver Light Room. Why not? Oh, we still need to check on the Drake Scale Armor. Which could greatly help out in our efforts against Flemeth here soon enough. It's fine. Welcome to the wonders. Ooh, small clear spear crystal. I'll take that. No, why can't I get it? Okay, there you go. Let's say I don't care if I can wear it or not. I'm not going to be using it. I just need to buy it. Oh, the Ring of Ages. It's a lot of resistances. Definitely not have enough for that, though. Hey, another tome. Simon's Arcane Technique. Which I think I already have. Uh, Greater Lyrium Potion. At this point, I'm going to have no money left for anything. First things first. Yes. You book. And book again. Yes.
Boom. Power of Might, Sword Pulse, Common Scrolls, gain additional buffs to attack, defense, and damage while in that mode. Hmm. Mass Rejuvenation. Let's do Aro Might. At least she has that in it now if she wants to. It's sad that you can't use it! Everybody else can, practically. Actually, why we are here, make some potions, please. Damn, I could have sworn I had the ability to make better potions than just lesser. Well, that's what I got right now. Make crap loads of potion. I am here. At your service. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Yes, let's do that. Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. <laughs> He's such a kid. You have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? He's telling the truth. Listen to him. Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. Do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. Ugh, for all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did. And I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long and when I went back, they ran me off. <laughs> It's hardly Alistair's fault, is it? And who in the Maker's name are you? Some servant of his to carry all his riches, I expect. Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. And a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A Prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Persuade. Well, Donna, Alistair came here hoping to find his family. Well... So he's found it. I'm his sister. 
But what are you to me, boy? Except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. <sighs> I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But... Brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. Then let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine, but you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Well, you know what? He gave his word, and Alistair definitely seems like a man of his word. And it's more than she was getting otherwise. Well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot. I don't know what to say. Sorry it turned out like this. Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Now to see Wade get my superior Drake armor. We're closed. Oh, it's you. The Drake scale armor is done. And it's, well, decent. Few things I'm rather proud of. And it didn't take as long as I feared. Odd. You'd better be very proud, Wade. We can't afford any more flights of fancy. I feel good, actually. I wouldn't mind working on Lord such and such's armor today. We'll see how long this lasts. Here's your armor. Now, please leave. Yay! Let's check it out. Dexterity mm. and better armor resistance. I won't reduce hostility though. Maybe it's just good against the fight for Flemeth. I think that's probably what we are really looking for right now. 50% fire resistance. Holy crap. Yeah, we'll go with that for right now. Just against Flemeth. Let's also change the party up a bit. Oh, I can't do it in town? Oh, that sucks. Guess we'll head back to party camp first. Give Sten his sword, kind of do some things. Don't want to jump into combat. I say no, no, never mind. <laughs> I can never seem to make up my mind. I'm like, yeah, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do this, and it's always changing. 
choose your races, uh, the race that you choose as well as the class that you choose is going to have different identifiers that are going to have different effects as far as the